Make an assembly drawing from an assembly. File. Make drawing from assembly. Pick the size, A3 in this case. Go to the right and here you could choose different view angles. So for instance, isometric, drag it in. Now, if you like to, if you prefer to have the angle you save the part in, then you need to go another way. So you can accept this and compare. So what you could do is choose view layout and model view. And now we could add in another view. So we choose where the source should go from and it should go from this open document, the assembly. I would take next. Now we have a new opportunity down here to choose current model view. And remember to click preview so you could instantly see the preview. And here we can see that there is a slight difference here in the view angle. So I can put, put it there. And the first view here, uh, I will not use that, so I, I will. Could you just delete that one to so just click on it and say yes delete this one here is good it's a little bit tiny so if you select it you come in the position where you could change scaling and other things so maybe you would like to have color on it then you could add that in this case it's the scaling so we could go from one to five to just half and half pretty good becomes big but if you like to have balloons sticking out here maybe it's a little bit too big and then we see that there is no opportunity here between half and one to five but if you browse a little bit scroll a little bit you find use defined and now we can decide for whatever scale we like and this is a bad idea if you're doing normal projections normal views flat views but for this excluded view, you can choose whatever you like, I think. So I go for one, two, three, and this is pretty nice. Then we have space around here. So I will accept this. The next thing we would like to add is balloons. So we could have different numbers for each part. So I go for annotation and you could auto balloon, but I prefer to manually position this I go for balloon and then I click on a part and position the balloon next part position the balloon and I'm thinking about a virtual center here so I just go with the line so it's lining up nicely and then lastly the battery there so something like that and when we have accepted this you could still go back here and readjust these to whatever you you prefer so that is the balloons now a list of the different parts would be nice to have and it's called a bill of materials a boom table and you find it under tables so here you have bill of materials so when i click on this it will ask us where would the source be for all this information yeah the source is this view here that is connected to the assembly so i click on this view and i accept the default settings and then we have this table pre-made for us super nice i click it and then it's like an Excel sheet here. So you could go in and, and tweak settings or the, so here you could change the information and it's taking the information from the properties in the part. So if you keep the link, we need to edit this in the original source file, the part file. Uh, if you're a little bit more lazy and are in a hurry, we could break the link and then you're free to do whatever you like. So you could go in here and put it 
whatever you like. That was the bill of material. Now we see that the text here on the original sheet is a little bit too big. And if I double click this, nothing happens. So to be able to edit this, you need to edit the sheet format. And you do that by right clicking on the sheet in the tree manager and choose edit sheet format. Everything disappears because now we're editing this sheet format and here we could for instance double click now and change the size of the text here so maybe we would like this to be 20 and now it fits in nicely there so I accept that change okay and maybe there is some lines here or some text here that you don't really like then you could delete it or edit and do whatever you like so these are just simple ordinary lines and texts that you could change as you like and when you're done funny enough you go for right click and choose edit sheet again so this is like a toggle button so we go back by choosing right click edit sheet and now we're back we are done let's say this solidworks assembly drawing uh, as a solidworks file and we will put it into the same folder as all the other things and the name in there is perfect so I say save but you should also save a PDF so you don't need SOLIDWORKS for looking at this drawing so I go one more time file save as and this time I change to PDF and now we can save again with the same name but as a PDF that's it let's have a look in the folder and see what it looks like so here we have a PDF so if we open up this one we have a nice PDF document there good <laughs>